Live. This is South Florida Today on NBC6 HD. Chinodio's Very Mexican is a small chain of two fast, casual, yet healthy Mexican restaurants in Miami that feature great Mexican cuisine with an emphasis on, yes, being healthy and authentic. Diego Cortez is the founder and CEO of Chilorios, and he's here to give us a taste along with Ramon, who will be making all of the Mexican magic. I'm so happy that you're here, Diego. This is uh, this is an interesting take because it's, it's kind of hard when you get that craving for authentic Mexican to find an authentic Mexican restaurant. And not only that, but you're healthy. You bake and you don't fry. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. We don't have fryers, and we are proud of that. And you and, and when I say authentic Mexican, I mean that you're Mexican yourself, Ramon, so are you. So, you know, you're getting the, the, the authentic stuff in the kitchen. Correct. Yes, we are. All right. So uh, we're going to actually cook. We're going to make a couple of authentic and uh, traditional Mexican dishes. And again, with an emphasis on the healthy. You see the tortilla chips right here? Nope. Not fried. They're baked, right? <laughs> Correct. <Yeah, fine. laughs> All right. So I, I mean, I, when I first said, I was like, hi, hey, Diego, how are you doing? I love Mexican food and I make a mean guacamole, but you're going to show me up today, right? We're, make, we're gonna make some pico de gallo, guacamole, some taquitos, and tostadas. Ooh, sounds really good. So let's uh, start making, you wanna do the pico de gallo first or the guacamole? Let's do the pico de gallo. Okay, and explain to us what pico de gallo is exactly, as you start mixing everything together. Well, the pico de gallo is basically mixing some ingredients. We mix some diced tomato, Okay. right? Uh, you also need to have some diced onions. Okay. Uh, you mix them together. Then um, you're gonna put some chile, some serrano chile, and that's, of course, um, to the taste. You can okay. put as much as you like or as less as you like. No, that's, that's if you like the spicy stuff, right? Correct, yes. Uh, okay. Then you put some cilantro, which okay. is very important. And uh, what most people don't do is they don't put lime. And you need to put fresh squeezed lime. Oh. So, so, Ramon, you were squeezing that. You were squeezing that fresh lime juice <laughs> earlier today, weren't you? <laughs> yes. We have it here. Uh, there you go to prove it. <laughs> All right. So, what do you, so then you mix up the pico de gallo, and that's uh, maybe for somebody who doesn't like the salsa because maybe it's too spicy, that's a nice alternative, or some people like to have the pico de gallo with their rice, or to put it inside their tortillas, right? Right, and it's also very good for um, having some chips and on top of the chips, uh -huh. so it's very nice to have them like that. Chips and pico de gallo, I love it. <laughs> All right. So is this th that easy? That's pico de gallo. So what about the guacamole? Okay, so the guacamole, you need to start with avocado has, which is very important to have has avocado. Okay. Okay. Now, this is nice and ripe, huh? Yes, they are. Okay, there and you go, Ramon, right? Oh, oh it's we already have. We already have. Through um, the magic of television, there you go. <laughs> so you use uh, the the avocados. Avocado okay. has. Has okay. Has avocado, and then uh, what you do is you put so, you put the pico de gallo on the uh, mashed avocado. Oh, you mix, mix it together. You mix it together. All right. And Here's Ramon. Let me be your sous chef. There you go. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, all days in the life of a kitchen, right? <laughs> uh, there you go. Hard work. Basically, you mix it, and you're done. Talk to me about your salsas. Okay, so our restaurant, uh, we feature more than 10 salsas. Okay, so and I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> and what we do is, we make them all in-house. We have some um, uh, all fresh chilies, we have some dried chilies, we have um, other, other which are only tomato or onions, okay. but all, all of them are Mexican recipes, and um, we range from very mild to very, very spicy. Okay, so a little bit for everybody. All right, yeah, let's start making the, that looks really good. And he also has uh, add some salt and some pepper. Salt and pepper, yes. all right, put that in. And let's get the, what else were we gonna make today? We can make some taquitos and some um, tostadas. Okay, so we have about a minute to go, so let's go okay. ahead and move on to the taquitos. Okay, good. So I wanna see, I wanna see that in action. Now, while Ramon gets working on the taquitos, uh, talk to me about the fact that you wanna emphasize the fact that you are a healthy Mexican restaurant. Yes, well, we don't fry anything, like, like I said, we bake, uh, and the tortillas are made in-house, so they don't have any additives or anything like that. So we make the corn tortillas by hand. We actually use this presser, which is the, the one we use in Mexico. You just press, and press the little ball, and, and you're good to go. Okay. Um, this is the, the, the corn tortillas. All right. Right? Great. There you go. And uh, you see Ramon, they're making the, the tortillas. And, all right. Very, very nice. Very good. So we have some pork eat. here, and uh, which without much fat, and we put some um, habanero relish. Okay. And that's it. Sounds great. All right, uh, Ramon, yes, and thank you so much, guys. Chilorios is, has a Mexican restaurant. It's two locations here in South Florida, one in Coral Gables and the other one in South Miami. For more information, visit chilorios.com. Diego, Ramon, thank you so much. We're going to come back and take a look at the final products. Today's